A UNL professor is making history in the medical field this week. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Laura Wilson joins us now with the story. Laura. Vanessa, this is a surgical procedure unlike anything the world has ever seen, and the technology behind it was created right here in Nebraska. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first time a robot has ever operated inside a living human being, which I think is a is a big milestone both in medicine and in robotics. Yes, you heard that right. A robot functioning from inside a live human being. It's part of a revolutionary new procedure in which a small robot is inserted inside a patient, usually through their belly button, and is then operated externally by a surgeon. It was created specifically for general surgery abdominal procedures. Once you're on the inside, you uh, can grab and touch and and perform surgery in the way that you want to. I think you have more freedom uh, from the inside. The company that invented the robot, Virtual Incision, is located on Nebraska Innovation Campus. It's based on technology created at UNL's engineering school and UNO's medical center. This week, the mini robot conducted the first known human surgery, which took place in Paraguay. Well, we think this is a big game changer. Uh, I think we have a different approach than a lot of other people in that we make these small robots that go on the inside. And that's there's a lot of advantages to that. Advantages like a quicker recovery time and less post-op pain, according to the company's co-founder and UNL professor Shane Farader. Virtual Incision is awaiting FDA approval for its robots, but has already received grants from the U.S. Army. So multiple surgeries were actually done this week in Paraguay using the mini robots. Farader tells me they were successful and the patients are recovering well. 